curly, but kinky curly claims to define curls, define curls, define curls in ways nobody else can define curls. And just search YouTube and you'll find people who bought kinky curly and got no curl definition. They're making a general claim. They're making a claim as to what they want their product to be able to do for people, but not necessarily what they can guarantee it'll do for you. My second, the second thing you need to ask yourself before you go gung ho and buy an overpriced item is can I achieve what they're achieving with products I'm already using? One of the big things that stops me from impulse buying products is I can get that look with something I already own. Kinky Curly is fine. It is wonderful. It is a fabulous all-natural gel, and it smells really good. But, I can get that same look with Eco Styler gel. So, I'm not going to pay what the Kinky Curly people want when I can pay $3.99 for Eco Styler olive oil gel. Look at their advertisements and their claims and see if you're already doing that. There are, um, I've heard Onion Handmade Honey Hemp Conditioner is the truth. Just, you put it on your head and you feel like the chicken, the herbal essences commercial. You're having a hairgasm. That's fine. When I checked it out, it was cost prohibitive for me. So, I'm still using VO5. <laughs> VO5 has been doing fine. My hair is not moisture deprived. I don't feel like the chick on the Herbal Essences commercial, but my hair feels fine. And if I feel like it feels a little dry, I'll add some olive oil in it because I can get a big old bottle of olive oil for $2.39. And I can get VO5 for $0.99. Cent. It's not that the products aren't doing what they claim they do. The difference is, are you willing to pay that much? If you have the discretionary money to spend and you want to buy curls cleansing cream instead of mixing up the little VO5 stuff I make or you want to buy onions honey hemp uh, conditioner because it is everything that they say it is do it don't get me wrong these are all fine products and I'm all for them and gay entrepreneurial spirit for the people who started the companies what I'm saying is don't buy this stuff buy this stuff buy this stuff buy an entire line of products and then come on YouTube and say I'm spending all my money on products. Well, you're spending all your money on products because you want to. Or because you don't know any better, which is why I'm trying to make this video. Uh, who is it? Coily Hair Beauty said the swab and the VO5 really don't work for her. So she uses, like, yes to carrots and yes to cucumbers and she uses a little bit like not high end but mid range conditioner okay so she uses a three or four or five dollar conditioner to coat wash her hair but she tried the 99 cent one and she tried the dollar 29 one and she tried the two dollar one and she worked her way up I think the mistake people are making is they're trying the fifteen dollar conditioner first and then they're like well I paid fifteen dollars for it it should have been right conditioner is a conditioner. What you're going to have to do is find the conditioner that works for you. And if you're on a budget or if you're just a person who doesn't want to spend a thousand dollars on products ultimately, start with what's cheapest. You'd be really surprised how often low-end items work quite well for you. The number of YouTube videos dedicated to gel curl activator alone should be surprising. People love Curl Activator, the gel curl activator, and Say Soft Row. Say Soft Row, the, the spray, the, the spray curl activator, and what's the other one? Carefree Curl. Carefree Curl, Stay Soft Row, and all the gel curl activators, people love those. They work well, and they're cost effective. I'm sure that they could get the same results with some very high end items from some very high end lines, but why? Why I'm trying to make this video. If you want curl definition, most people can define their curls using a gel. Now, which gel works for you? That's something you can figure out. 
You can go to the beauty supply, you can go to Walmart, you can go to CVS, you can go to Walgreens, you can buy every gel up in there and probably not spend what you would spend on a dry kinky curly. Ultimately, you'll end up with curl definition. And the rest of them gels that you don't use, oh, also aloe vera gel. And the rest of those gels you don't use, you can um smooth your edges with them. And I'm not knocking anyone. I'm not knocking anyone who buys expensive items. You buy expensive items, buy them. But don't buy them and then be upset that because you paid extra money, it doesn't do it. A gel is a gel is a gel is a gel. You just need to find the gel that works for you. If I'm going shopping for a gel, I'm going to start with the 99 cent gel to see if that works before I go to the $30 gel.